Hello friends. In a, in a normal scenario, what happens is suppose you have downloaded the files from some location, uh, maybe via FTP or file copy process. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is you want to move the files, maybe archive the file. Um, you want to zip the files and then move them to a particular location. Move them to move the zip file to a particular location. Let's say. So example for this what we do is we make use of execute process task and the execute process task by name itself it means that you want to execute a process a kind of exe or executable so we right click on this select and in the process we'll say that which is the executable that we want to execute in this case it is c program files Uh, you can select it by this way as well that is rad.exe and what is the argument we want to archive the files which are the files that you want to archive now the location that we have is uh, the SSIS files for each so let me just copy this and here in I'll see the working directory is this and what we want is we want to archive all the files start.txt and the name that we want to give is let's say archived files dot rab okay so what it'll do is it'll look for all the text files in this location and this particular location and it will move that and it will move that to uh, it will create as a uh, RAR file with this particular name click on ok so let me say execute the process again this one and it does the work for us so if you go here we'll have the file this one archive files at this location Let's see if we can specify the location if it if it should be created at some other location as well. So we go here and we'll delete this particular file, archive files. We want that the file should get created at this location. So we'll just copy this. And let me see if it works. Click on OK. And let me see execute dot package. And it does the work for us. And this time it gets created in the or it has get or it has been created at this location only, not in the archive folder. Which is the path I gave. Just let me let me just check. I've given the path not archived, so let me make it archived. So it should get created at this particular location, archived. Click on OK. Let me delete the file for the time being. Execute it again. And it has been created now. And this time it would have been created out this location. So via this way, for example, if you download the files, similarly, what we can also do is uh, maybe move this to a means after the files have been downloaded and processed, we'll, we can move it to different location altogether. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much.